Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Oblivion. So, we are continuing on, and we're doing actually the last few Daedric quests that we actually can participate in, because the last one we actually need to push forward in that pesky little main quest, and I'm not touching that until I need to. Um, wow, I realize I'm like really like quiet <laughs> compared to most of the time. So we're gonna go uh, do the two that we can, and there's the next one. We've actually discovered this one before by accident, um, but I had to reload because of that, uh, crash, and so I have to rediscover, uh, this one that we're going towards, which is... Well, I thought it was closer than it actually was. Oh, okay, there it is. Which is Clavicus Vile's Shrine. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do to, uh, Gain his favor. You approach the shrine of Clavicus Vile. You should not be here unless you have business with Lord Clavicus. I mean, I'm a fan of all the Daedra at this point, so let's just go ahead and do it. Here we worship Lord Clavicus. Do you have business with the Daedra? Every single one of them. There are many deals to be made, even with a god. You could find great wealth. Or painful dead. Why are those the two options? If like, you wish to <laughs> bargain with Clavicus Vile, approach with an offering of 500 gold. Really? And hope the Lord smiles on your offering. Yeah, so Clavicus wants money, which is, I, I think, a little weird compared to every other... Um, oh, wow, my mark was way off. I can remove that. Uh, compared to every other Daedra, but whatever, we have the money, so... A mortal. Whoa, Always he a sounds way I'm different. For me, mortal, and I'll reward you. A fair bargain, don't you think? He sounds way more like a fae or a fairy or you something in this for one. Me a sword. A very special sword. It contains oh, the sword <laughs> stop running into me. Roma, stop running into me. A hero I have had dealings with in the past. A hero? Bring the sword to me, and I'll reward you with my mask. You'll not find a better bargain, mortal. Begin your search in Pell's Gate. Pell's Gate, huh? Alright, well, I don't know where Pell's Gate is, but we did get a map marker. And it seems like it's that way. Cool. So we can just keep going. Um, so Pell's Gate's just like a weird sort of thing. We did get something in the inventory just now, I think. We got a statuette of a dog. Can't equip it. Can't drop it. What could that be? Well, uh oh. Dog, I swear, you heroes aren't particularly quick on the uptake. Good. Got your attention. I'm Bart, the Hound of Clavicus Vile. Hmm. Not that I've always been Hound, or always been called Barbas. I've also been a Red Guard. For a while, I was a scamp, making deals with orcs. But for now, I am his Hound, and I serve the Lord Clavicus. A word of Whoa, is that a day drop? Made a bad deal. This oh. Bad Things always end badly. Well, oh, well, okay. The day drop can fight the bear for all I care. Clavicus has always been a little blind to that. And it'll end badly this time, too. So just leave things be. Walk away. It's your best bet. Really. Well, we could listen to him. But whatever, we're gonna keep going for the sword. Apparently, it would cause like, whoa, what the hell? What the fuck just happened? Uh. Uh. So I can't move and I can't jump. Did it? I think I was. Oh crap, there we go. That was so weird. It like, and it also disabled auto run for whatever reason. Alright, well, that's okay. It's Everything's fixed now, everything's good. Um, yeah, basically he, he's giving us the idea that if we give the sword to him, bad things will happen in the domain of Clavicus Vile, 
which is of course the Daedra uh, that we're working for. But Clavis, Clavicus himself doesn't seem to mind. Whoa. It is interesting that he says that he was a scamp. Oh, there's a nerd right here. A uh, scamp that uh, worked with um, orcs. I believe that makes him the uh, scamp merchant. Uh, I forget what the name Was it like Creeper, I think? In Morrowind? If that's true, that's very, very interesting. But anyways, uh, we are in Pell's Gate, which is a weird thing, like just outside of the Imperial City, and there's a ruin next to it, too. Have I actually discovered this ruin? No, I have not. I'm gonna grab it real quick while we're here. Fort Homestead. I actually think that might not be haunted or anything. Which is very strange for... Whoa! You are, uh, leveled, aren't you? Good to see you. Oh, you. I need to talk to you. Welcome to Pell's Gate. What brings you around here? Umbra. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. And it's not one you should be using around Pell's Gate, either. Wow. He's kind of pissed. Uh, before I go on, let's clear something up. Are you here asking about the sword or the person? Which is it? Qua? The b both? Who is Umbra? I can tell you who Umbra used to be. Lenwin. She's my apprentice, at least she was, until she found that sword. Interesting. Never did say where it came from. She just showed up with it one day. Said it was called Umbra. But she was different. She'd always been fair with a sword, but she began looking for fights, became bloodthirsty. Then started calling herself Umbra after the sword. Huh. Well. Finally signed on with some mercenaries, but I heard that ended too. We haven't seen her in years. Balls. Because I'd really, really love to meet her, but tell me about the sword named the same thing as the person. It's a powerful sword, no doubt about that. Jet black. Got a wicked edge on it. And they say it can steal a man's soul. Well, not quite. Can't say for sure. Some say they've seen her nearby, near the Vindassal ruins. You mean where the Daedroth was? Wishful thinking, though. God damn it. If she's around, she hasn't come into Pell's Gate. Nor should she. I fear that girl is long gone. If you seek her out, take care. She's a powerful one. Or at least that sword is. I'd steer clear if I was you. Well then, that's worrying. Luck. I fear you'll need it. But at least we know where to look for her now. Yeah, I guess we gotta go pay attention to where the Daedroth was. Does that mean she's surrounded by Daedra? That'll make it so much harder than just actually fighting her. Um, the, the warnings that they're giving you are somewhat warranted. I mean, she is a very powerful fo foe for, you know, what she is, but ultimately she just deals physical damage. I mean, technically you could even just get away with it. Are you both? That's a bandit. Who are you? A bandit and a conjurer randomly fighting? What the hell? I gotta stay out of that conflict. Why? Why is that happening? That's just a random thing that can happen, I guess. Why are they coming after me? Ugh, I really don't feel like fighting them. I guess I sort of have to, though, don't I? Oh my god. Oh, and the, the game is really laggy for whatever reason. That's okay. He'll be dead soon. Random-ass conjurers and bandits attacking me. Can't have any peace here in Oblivion. None at all. He doesn't even have anything amazing. Oh, actually, he has some potions of healing. I'll take those. And you've got nothing. Man, I don't even have to pick up lockpicks anymore. Before we go see Umbra, there is probably something I should do. Mmm, actually. Yeah, no, I got the right rings on. So, I guess we have to go in here. 
Windowsill. And the Daedroth won the fight, of course. But we don't actually have to fight the Daedroth. We can just go into a window cell. Um, now, interestingly, something something happens if you go in here and you actually have the quest active. Because otherwise, it won't. Like, you won't have this happen. You can come in. And... Well, first the mud crab can die. Uh... We're gonna have to go around and get a few of these things anyway. What is it, another mud crab? Or other things? Oh, that's another mud crab. Come right this way, fucker! There you go, goodbye. I don't even have to use my sword. I do want these Welkin stones, so we'll we'll get them before we leave. There is a way to get them up from there, uh, even though they are quite high up. So wait, where did he come from? Is there another passage that I didn't see? I am very very glad we have high acrobatics that we can just jump. I don't think we can actually jump up to these Welkin stones, can we? Well, I guess sort of we can, yeah. Huh? I. Actually, somewhat was not expecting that we would just be able to jump jump up to them. But you can also use your bow and uh, shoot them off of their pedestals and pick them up that way. It's kind of important because Welkin stones are um, somewhat unique. There's like a limited amount of them in the game, but it ranges in the either 300s or 500s. I think it's 500s because 300 is for, uh, is for Nern Root. So, it's a nice idea to go through here and pick stuff up. Did it only spawn regular enemies here? Or did it spawn your n normal alien enemies as well? Wow, that's that's nice. I don't think that actually will affect us if we're up here. Will it? Yeah, I don't think it will. But generally, don't don't go into the poison gas that hates you and everything that's alive. <laughs> Having the acrobatics is amazing. I can just stay in sneak mode and get all these. Oh wow, I can jump from one to the other even. I don't even have to do anything crazy. I don't really feel like fighting the rats. Because let's be honest, the rats are the most boring enemy in this game. Well... Second of mud crabs, but that's only because I have an intense hatred of them. I am wondering where Umbra is, though. I thought she was supposed to be in the main cell. It's very interesting. There's a different source of lighting there. That's because there's a, a fire going on the other side of that. What? Really? That's not actually an edge? Oh, come on. Fuck off. Good thing mud crabs don't get leveled. And I believe Umbra is actually down there. That might be her right there. Or it might not. And I may be wrong. Uh, nope. Yep, that is, that is definitely Umbra. Um, but we're going to go down and talk to her because I want that little bit of unique dialogue. I don't actually need the sneak attack on her. But we will get into a fight because we are finishing this quest. Um, and we're not actually keeping the sword. Get out of here while you can. Well, I can. Well, I think if we stay by her too much, she'll get mad. But let's just talk you to her first. Much by speaking to me. You should leave this place. Now. Why? But why? Just tell me why. Umbra is my blade. It is who I am. Who I was meant to be. Are you sure? For years I have fed my blade the souls of man and myrrh. That's... Mm, Warriors and priests. Okay. Kings and paupers. Men, women, and children. That's not great. All have bled for me. That, well, that uh, makes you kind of a bad person. Fall, and still 
Umbra hungers for more. We'll see that maybe, maybe you should go back. Do not speak to me of that place. It was another lifetime. It really wasn't. You're still the same I lifetime. What I am now. Well, that's true, I guess. Perhaps they sent you to kill me. Not really. Are they worried I might come in the night and burn their village down around them? Well, no, I'm sure that's come across their minds, but I am what I've <laughs> not inherently. What of you? What is it you seek? My death? My blade? Just the sword, actually. I offer you a choice. More than I have offered most. Stay here and die. Or leave now and live your life. Speak to me again when your mind is set. Hmm. It's very interesting. Leave it alone. How about we just march on back to the shrine and tell Platicus the deal is off? So, sure, we could do that. He'll be a bit put off, but you won't be dead. At least, you probably won't. That's better odds than you're getting here. So we could do that. You could actually go back to Clavicus, tell him you don't want to do it, and uh, that the deal's off. However, we didn't come all the way down here just to say no and leave. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fight her. I assume you've made your choice. Umbra hungers. What shall it be? All right. I got to kill you. Come then. Try your luck. Feel the bite of Umbra. Okay. Don't. Okay. God. She does do quite a bit of damage. But we also have a fuck ton of health. And our weapon is enchanted with more than just Soul Trap. Which is interesting that we're also affecting onto her. Considering it's her, like, namesake. Now the problem is... The reason I uh, cleared out my entire inventory is because, technically, her entire suit is a unique set. So we're uh, just going to take everything. Yep. Sorry, Umbra. You were an uh, interesting person, but you had to die. So she's now dead. Uh, and I don't really feel remorse about it because she was a terrible person. I'm just going to shut him up for a second. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all these goodies. Oh, oh crap. I I'm accidentally cut out his dialogue. Anyways, he was basically going to tell us not to bring it back to him because he thinks that the sword is... Oh, here we go. So, we actually could keep the sword. We can come to Cal Calavicus Vile and uh, tell him... That we uh, will not give the sword to him. And it just ends the quest. That's it. I wonder if you could bring Umbra all the way up here and have her fall in that trap. If you like, can't fight her normally. She can heal herself. Uh, she does have spells for that. Um, but generally, she's not like amazing at it. Whoa. See the date are off of walking around the corner. Cripes. You know, let's just take it out. There. There we go. And no one ever has to deal with it again. Uh, and now we have um, all of Umber's gear. I'll have to uh, drop that off before we do the next thing. But we're going back to the shrine. I don't think he takes the rest of her gear either. I think that's just in her inventory now. Forever. He will, however, take Umbra. Now, the reason people say all the time to keep Umbra is because it is the highest base damage weapon in the game. It does 33 damage. However, it is already enchanted with Soul Trap, which is okay, but ultimately does nothing for us. Because if you just have a blade enchanted with Soul Trap, there's no reason to keep, re uh, to keep recharging it. What are you trapping these souls for to use in, in a weapon other than to make another weapon? Um, personally, I find Umbra one of the most useless weapons in the game because any enchanted weapon will ultimately deal more damage as long as it is high enough, uh, 
in 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 its base damage. I mean, ours is twenty nine. Umber is only thirty three. It's not that big of a jump. Um, however, because of our drain health and fire damage, we ultimately deal forty more damage more than Umbra will ever be able to do. Therefore, Umbra is ultimately useless, and the thing that we get from Clavicus uh, also counts as an artifact in our um, journal. Interestingly, I think the dog, like the statue, actually came with us. Huh. I never noticed that before. Anyways. You brought the sword. Now give it to me. As we agreed, Umbra and I have unfinished business. What does that even mean? But, uh, yeah, we're going to give the sword to him. Excellent. A pitiful sword with a pitiful soul in exchange for a mask fit for a god. You've gotten the better of this bargain, mortal. Well, I guess we have. To attend to. Run along. Perhaps I'll be looking for you again. And uh, there we go. He gives us the mask. Umbra is removed. Yep. And the hound comes back. As for you, good luck, I guess. I've met us. For whatever reason, his voice changes from here to Skyrim, and it really kind of annoys me. In any case, the mask of uh, Clavic is vile. That's not amazing or anything. It is incredibly detailed for what it is, and it's kind of cool to wear. Uh, but it doesn't actually give you anything cool. It's just, you know, a helmet. Actually, I wonder. Repair. There we go. It's not enchanted, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, 45 personality. Huh. Okay, technically, it is uh, about as good as a Daedric Helm. Which I did not realize at first, actually. That's... Well, that's kind of great, I guess. Um, I don't see a reason not to wear it uh, for the moment. Because it's it's just about as good as our stuff. So, why not? I actually haven't looked through and seen... And, like, looked if we've gotten any Daedric level armor that's already enchanted. I don't think we have. But in the next quest that we do, we may pick up some. Um, however, it is blanking on me where that place is, and I have to drop off stuff anyway, so I'm going to drop stuff off, uh, look up where it is, and then we will go and do that other quest, and we'll be done with Daedric stuff, and that means the next thing I record will be Dark Brotherhood, which I'm excited about. I guess I should drop it in here, right? Yeah, because the acrobatics. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm going to put stuff away now. So, I've looked it up, and uh, it's actually, like, way in the mountains over here. So, I'm just going to go to Doomed Mine and try to make our way up the mountain. But this one's worth it. I think, at least. I'm kind of excited. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to be able... If I'm going to use the reward a lot. But I'm... Definitely going to give it a try. Oh, the only problem is actually getting up this goddamn mountain. Unless there's like an actual way to go. Because I certainly don't remember one. At least not anywhere near this side. Whoa, that was... I was walking on nothing for a little bit there. So we are in the Vallis Mountains. And we just have to get to a point where I can actually get up higher. Well, that's nice. I can get up here. I'm not entirely sure how far south or north it is of here. All I know is that it's definitely further east. It's like almost right up against the... Uh, the notice that you cannot go any further. Which makes it a little difficult to get around. But I also may be incredibly dense and it might not be this far back. It might just be more south. But we're definitely in the right area and it never hurts to be up this high actually. I believe we're Oh my, we're we're not even 
We're not even to the edge of the mountains, technically. Yeah, there's a fort right there that's like... Oh, well, there it is. It showed up. Wow. So, that thing is all the way over there. I believe this might be the most east most point of the map. Um, I could be wrong. But it certainly do does feel like it. Now it is directly south. Okay, good. So we can cheese the mountain over there. Yeah, you can just sort of run horizontally once you get stuck on a point of the mountain. And you won't actually go down. Which, it seems you almost need to do it for this particular shrine. Because it's not connected to anything that lets you get up there. I don't think so, at least. Now, this is how I've always done it before. But anyways, we reached Boethius Shrine. You guys just stay up here all day and do nothing? Oh no, there is a way. There's a path. Okay. But in any case. You approach the shrine of Boethia. Tread lightly. Nah, I'm gonna tread hard. You believe yourself worthy to approach the shrine of Boethia? Perhaps. Or perhaps you will be slaughtered. It is your choice. Well, I don't want to be slaughtered. You are brave or suicidal. Approach then. Make an offering. Boethia demands a Deidre's heart. Well, it's okay. I picked one up before I left home. <laughs> Just off the shelf. Fucking heart. Why do you summon me? You are not one of my favorites. Oh, well, I'm not, but I want your reward. You hope to be counted among my chosen? Then prove yourself to me, mortal. Bring it on. I shall open a portal for you to one of my realms in oblivion. Go and take your place in my tournament of ten bloods. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, we'll do Survive, that. And you will be rewarded. Faith and your soul belongs to me. Well, let's go. Oh, there's the portal. Funny, that portal looks almost exactly like the last Daedric uh, prince that wanted me to go. So I think we're all good. How's our weapon? Yeah, that's good for now. Um, oh, God damn it, I should have put that away, but whatever. We need a lot of space in our inventory because, like, every enemy here has leveled equipment. Um, and it might be worth it to grab some stuff off of them, particularly if they are magical Daedric armor. Um, Welcome, but anyways, to here we go. So we basically have to go to the right along each gate uh, until we complete the circle and slaughter everyone. Don't, don't do that. Don't be a little dick. Wow, you guys are... Uh, much weaker than I remember. I think I did this thing when I was a lower level last time. What a pity for the brethren. We do, however. Uh, no, you're wearing light armor. Damn it. So many potions of healing. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to need them, but you can't go back. So I'm just going to grab those, and I think that's all I'm going to take from you. On the off chance that the next person... Aw, oh, crap. I, I messed up your... Um your dialogue, Boitha. I should remember not to open menus while somebody's talking. This is not a dark elf. He is he is quite clearly a uh, high elf. I think they're all are they all gonna be wearing Whoa. Another one of these arrow guys who has every single enchanted arrow in existence. I really don't need to be taking them all, but whatever. A valiant effort, Dark Elf. But take comfort. <laughs> my, blue, my blue marker is still here. <laughs> Apparently it's to the north. Oh my god, there's so many arrows. Wow, just from the arrows I've already gone over 200. 
Uh, what was I gonna do? A repair wouldn't be bad. Um, but... Uh, my brain has to find the... Uh, there was something... Oh, right, I was gonna recharge my blade. Because it's low. There we go. And moving on to the next one. But I just, I just killed the high elf opponent. Uh, he's... He's a mage. No, get... Get out of the stupid... Oh, fine. Whatever. If you want to fight over the lava, that's fine. Because I don't think you have anything to grab anyway. Uh, you have a lot of potions of healing, but... Otherwise... Yeah, goodbye. The price of failure. A final fanfare for the high elf. Farewell. Oh, all your stuff fell in there. Whatever, I don't care. With his keen mind and eyes, the Imperial measures you. Give him what he seeks. Oh, yes. Come here. You're wearing danger karma. Don't you dare fall off the side. Don't heal yourself. Just die. And, of course, they are unenchanted. No, oh, and that was thunder outside of my window. That's that's great. Thunder's, uh, well... Thunder outside of my window, and there's thunder in the game. It's okay. I have fortified personality. They all love me. Oh, I need to recharge, don't I? Too bad they can't really hurt me. It's much more of like a intense thing if they can do enough damage to hurt you. But this guy, I think he's loaded with poisons or something. Nope, and I just... Another one bites the dust. She is done. At least I saw the, the thing. No, no, he didn't actually end up using his poison. Well, okay. So far, not that much of a challenge. This Is he? Or she? Ooh, you've got Daedric stuff. Is yours gonna be enchanted? Do you have a Scottish voice? I th I think I rarely hear that voice. Huh. <laughs> I think it might have actually. Ooh, yes. That's what I was looking for. I'll take that. Thank you. So now we have a Daedric enchanted chess piece. Which is nice because until I actually go and make my own stuff, it's, it's always nice to have that. And that's a very useful enchantment because it's just health that helps everybody. There are, there are some enchantments that are not really that useful to me. Most, most fortify enchantments don't do anything for me now. Sup? You might have a enchanted helm. Yeah, I knew that the orc was... that. It's not an orc, goddammit. Well, at least the reflect damage is working. It totally is a Scottish woman, which is awesome. Maybe it's an orc? I don't know. Don't heal. Don't be a bitch and heal. Just reflect all of the damage back at yourself. Honestly, I'm just hoping... Is your helmet enchanted? It's not. Oh, all right. Your axe was. Huh. <laughs> no, it was not, which is unfortunate. I'm just hoping for enchanted weapons here, and that may seem terrible of me, but whatever. Light armor as well. Ultimate, oh, ultimately heavy armor is better, which is why I generally do this. Oh god, but I have to pause. Look at that, important calls in the middle of me murdering people. Ugh, so annoying. Is this dude wearing mascara and lipstick? I mean, whatever floats your boat, but all right. Didn't expect it in the realm of Boetha. In the scales of testing, Red God, you are tried and found wanting. Did you have anything interesting? Threefold shield. Uh, it's an interesting shield, but uh, 
Actually, technically, the, the spellbreaker I have is better than that. But I thought I killed your wood elf. Whoa, did he did he hit me with a arrow that reflected at him because it was technically a spell? Interesting. Oh great. More arrows. Well, at least I get this out of the deal. I just I might just dump all of these uh Wait, what? I'm going to grab the bow of the inferno because I believe that's what the game might spawn in that certain oblivion place that's amazing. I'm, I don't know for sure, but it seems familiar. The others are dust. You wow, are you are yelling really loud. First and last. Beyond the next gate, your portal waits. Interesting. But I want to point out something that bugs me a little bit about oblivion, and they sort of fixed it with... Um, Shivering Isles, but it's that every single Oblivion uh, plane looks the exact same. I sort of understand it for Boetha, um, because him and Maroon's Dagon, or maybe Boetha's a she, but anyways, the, theirs are, are around um, power and, and, and deceit and destruction and things like that, and this sort of makes sense, but I mean like even like the runes and the 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 claws are the same here. The architecture is the same. That doesn't really happen. They did a really good job with uh, Hermaeus Mora or whatever, however you pronounce it, from Skyrim uh, in that uh, DLC in uh, Dragonborn. That was a completely unique Oblivion realm, and uh, so was Shergorath's Shergor Oblivion realm. And the way that some of the other Oblivion realms are described in the game... They look completely different. I have a for your return to the world of men. Go now, chosen one, and claim your prize. They really do look completely different. Whereas here they do not. Does that actually hurt you? Well, I guess not. Alright, well that was weird. Thought something hurt me. I just realized that there's a huge staff of a uh, st statue of a uh, Boethia in the middle there. Alright. Oh, right. First, I'm exclaiming the spoils from the phone. Uh, they give you a little option if you want to grab stuff from them, but I've, I've grabbed things from them. We got we got a chest piece out of it, which is nice. We got a whole bunch of arrows. I, I'm okay with that. I did pick up that bow, which makes me very confused because it might be the one that I'm thinking of getting later anyway, but... I greet you, chosen one. A victory in my tournament of ten bloods brings great honor. Hey! We're the winners! We are. Ooh, gold brand. So, I kind of love the gold brand for a few different reasons. One, it's actually got a unique um, look to it. It's not just a colored thing. It's literally a golden katana, which is kind of awesome. Um, second, I think that... It might be, if I'm not mistaken, um, the same damage as a Daedric Sword. Maybe even more. Goldbrand ends up being 30, whereas my Fire Eater is 29. Technically, it is more, and it does 22 damage fire on strike and has way, way more t charges. So... I don't know. We can try it out for a little bit and see if it does better. I know it will hold the charge for longer, but I might keep it in my inventory regardless because, well, it just looks cool. I mean, it's kind of cool to fight somebody with a katana. I I like it. Ultimately, I will have to replace it once we get into Shivering Isles, but that's a while away, and I think the gold brand might be what we stay with until we get there. Um, maybe the Knights of the Nine Sword, but I forget if that actually levels to a decent damage for us. In any case, um, that's the end of the Daedric Quests. We've done everything. We've gotten it all, um, that we can for now. We will have to do another one once we've started the main quest. And I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to do that until like near the end of the game or the end of us actually playing. So you probably won't see that one for a while. It's not that interesting in any case. Eh. It, it does have an interesting reward, but eh, whatever. Um, 
so what I'm gonna do next is the Dark Brotherhood. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sort of pining to do the Mages Guild because I love the recommendation quests. Uh, even if the actual quest of the Mages Guild itself was terrible. Oh, hi, Bear. Um, I, I kind of want to do the recommendation quest, but that's okay. We can do the Dark Brotherhood. It's an interesting storyline, and we'll get it done. And then maybe after that, we'll do uh, the Mages Guild because I'm, I really like it. I, And then Fighters Guild or whatever you guys want to see. Um, in any case, thank you all for watching. Next time, let's go murder some people. I am ready. Wait, has the Blade of Woe always been looking like that? What? No. What? what? Oh, that got patched. Or or a mod did it. Sorry, I'm just, no, I wasn't ready for it. It's usually just a regular ebony dagger. Cool. Anyways, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.